Hello, 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 and welcome into the Hourglass. Welcome if you are new. It's great to have each and every one of you here today. So we're doing a bunch of channel message, and there goes my voice, of course. Happy birthday to all the Piscereans in the house. It's Sunday. Not that it matters here because all my viewers are timeless. Duh. But <laughs> happy birthday to all the Piscereans. We just, we just had the full moon in Virgo. Snow moon, right? What? I think this is the last full moon of winter solstice. So again, you guys, full moons are all about completions, results, forgiveness, and gratitude. It's time to let go. We have that Virgo energy of organization, being organized, decluttering, getting serious with ourselves, with our regimens, our rituals, our routines. You guys, don't forget to drink plenty of water. Those of you that are very empathic, psychic, what have you you're very sensitive to energy drink plenty of water don't get on my nerves <laughs> so we have a lot of sexual rage we have the garden with emotional freedom so emotional freedom was in the last reading that i'm about to okay so we're dealing with a distorted masculine that has emotional freedom issues, all right? This could be male or female. We're dealing with someone that's pressed for time or they never have time for themselves or for you. We have intimacy, so they may be struggling with intimacy issues or they want pure intimacy with you. This may be a person that just want to cuddle. I'm hearing uh, moving from a fuck buddy to a cuddle buddy. Would you be my cuddle buddy for life? Yeah, that's not going to be for all of you with the fuck buddy talk, but you get what I'm saying. Yeah, yin and yang. Would you be my cuddle buddy for life? Ew, some of you are dragons. I'm a gray dragon. <laughs> so we have a lot of gray. So there may be some integration. There could be a cosmic spiritual marriage that's going on. Or this person is just literally seeing you as their counterpart. Yin and yang. You match their yin and yang. I'm also hearing uh, dualities. I mentioned in the previous video that I have been seeing a lot of keys and owls. So I don't know if something is being locked, unlocked, or being locked up here. That's, again, that duality. I'm seeing paying attention with the keys and initiation. Your person may be feeling like, ooh, your fingers would look damn good with a damn engagement ring on. So they may think about engagement with you. It's a lot of passion and emotions, hey, a lot of loving emotions. This person just want to chill with you i feel like they don't have to literally have sex with you yeah be my cuddle buddy for life what you talking <laughs> there's a lot of spiritual enlightenment or you have a lot of spiritual gifts and this person may be more in the physical and there may be more um I'm hearing not intuitive, but they have a lot of gut instincts and you may have the intuitive energy or the spiritual enlightenment to to be compatible to that inner peace yeah this person is struggling uh they feel they may have like a very peaceful life it's very quiet or it's away from drama so this person has the option to go in and out of drama if they want so they may have an escape uh, a way to escape yes <laughs> drama i'm telling you your person may be prone to drama we have empathy here as well Wow. This person could feel your emotions. They sense your energy. They could feel like they're very drawn to you, but right now they're escaping. They're moving away into their man cave, their back cave, whatever, their tree house, whatever. This person knows that this is very divine care or love between the both of you. It's a fire that burns between the both of you. Or you guys have candles lit for... Um, this love between the both of you very pure or you may be very pure or innocent to this person you may be very innocent to this person's true colors so this person may be prone to drama or they they're, they're very prone they're attracted to conflict all right and they may be hiding that from you they may also know that you may want to work things out i have a little bit of sage burning in my candle there yeah <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you guys may practice Tantra or sex magic or this person wants to be sexual with you. Oh, my gosh. This person is in some sort of material jungle and they need to kind of like move to a spiritual mountain top here. And they are kind of like lost on how to do that. Oh, my goodness. Distorted masculine and distorted feminine. I don't know. Some of you are kind of tolerating a very disrespectful um, situation with this person. Or you're tolerating disrespect from this person. 
I'm just going to say it. Some, something you're tolerating here that needs to be broken and you're going through a spiritual journey or spiritual ascension to break that habit of that distorted feminine. This could have been going on from generations to generations where the feminine energy in your, li in your line, uh, in your family tree was always tolerating disrespectful masculine energy. You know, they could be tolerating disrespect because this person is very wealthy or they seem to contribute financially. So accepting this person has a spouse or um, whatever for that, um, you allow that disrespect to stay. And that could have been running in your family for years. We have creativity. So, you know... This is all channel messages. I really don't have any questions. But what I'm feeling is this is a, you guys are going through a portal. You're going through a gateway of different enlightenments or transformation. You have a very strong creative spark that's going on with the both parties here. Or this could be all your energies, feminine and masculine energies. But you are stuck on a, on a plateau here of just imagining it's time to step off divine masculine showing up again yeah it's like you have this pull to be more you have this pull that the ether is wants more from you but you're stuck in this distorted way of looking at life your lens are cracked here you have to turn your back on the world you have to turn your back on the worldly laws laws that was forced onto you some of you, this could also talk about your sexual, your sexuality as well, being free in expressing yourself sexually. Again, with the distorted masculine, this could be a lot of cheating here as well, or not seeing the beauty of true sexual uh, exchange, sex exchange in here. Love is love is love is love. Okay, so this distorted masculine could be having a lot of sexual fantasies on their mind. This person may be kind of feeling like low libido is what I'm hearing because their money is low. So it's almost like they cannot be sexual if their money is low. A foundation about sex is crumbling. So if this person just was using sex to just dump a lot of um, frustration, that's changing. Whatever their view was about sex, it's changing. It's coming down. A lot of sexual frustration here. Self-respect, okay? <laughs> Let's talk about it. What is the main topic here? Love. All right, so love is the main focus here. Distorted masculine, so there's going to be a purification. So someone here has been living their life based upon misconstrued or distorted uh, beliefs here. And that's all going to kind of cleanse out. I feel like... This could be same sex as well. Maybe this person is kind of like hiding who hiding what they really love hey. This could be someone that was in the closet for a very long time and they have not yet came out and shown who they truly are. For some of you, this is a person that's in love with you. They love you, but they have a lot of deceptive energy within them. And I feel like at times they are very enslaved by a lot of this distorted energy. They seem to have uh, this notion that if you, if you love someone, there may be some sort of blind loyalty going on here. This person needs to stay balanced or they need to be balanced and healthy in a very busy world with the divine masculine energy. Busyness is almost like they have adopted this distorted belief that they always have to stay busy. And this kind of pushes them away from self-love as well and self-respect. Um, I feel like they need to protect themselves over this car coming out, the silver waterfall. It's like they have to kind of cleanse out um their vibration here they have to raise their vibration to balance healthy and happy things this person is not happy and i feel like even though they may love you they're just not happy because of how they living in this like dim light it's like the truth with the with the rainbow there's a truth here that this person is not 
it's almost like this person has been living by this certain faulty belief. And if you bring the, this person the truth, no matter how much evidence you have, you cannot persuade them. And they would even try to protect what they have been living by to avoid um, being wrong or looking lost. Hey, So you may have a very positive energy with the yin and yang energy. This person may be a little bit negative and you may be the positive charge. And together you guys could work really well or love just isn't enough. Um, to keep this together this person literally has to have their own happiness for love to really uh do its job hey i feel like this person is protecting themselves from feeling uncomfortable or from purging this faulty foundation this distorted feminine and masculine energy away from them they're protecting that it's almost like if they have to change or start living differently they don't know how they're going to live. Uh, they don't know how they're going to survive. So they may be in a survival mode and they prefer that way of living because it's some sort of beneficial end for them there. But with those silver waterfall, it's saying to me that this person really has to embrace self-love and healthy meaning of love. Hey, they have to come into some sort of balance, uh, healthy way of looking at life in order for them to raise their own vibration you cannot do this for this person regardless of how much you love them so this may not be the message you want to hear but this person needs to do their own inner work all right i feel like they're picking up other people's negative energy or their negative energy is rubbing off on you and you need to protect yourself from that that may be the truth that carries that yin and yang, that positive and negative energy. All right. So let's keep going. Some of you may be at the age of 32, uh, but three and two is six. And that talks about love again, uh, self-love. It talks about getting over anxiety based thoughts or beliefs, which is that distorted feminine and masculine energy. This person is deep in the uh, material jungle and, you know, you cannot do the work for this person is what I keep hearing. You cannot do the work for this person. What is this I'm listening to? Forgiveness. Jeez. Oh, so I'm hearing boundaries is what you need to put up here as well. Let's see how they're feeling about you and the situation of love. Embarrassed. So they feel awkward. They feel like this love thing between the both of you is exposing a lot of their shadow side. Uh, I feel like they gravitate towards negative energies or influence to feel safe because they're in this distorted masculine and feminine energy. So the way how you love or your, the way how you stand up for the definition of love, it exposes this person. It shines a light on their darkness and this pushes them to protect um, this distorted uh, beliefs. All right. So they may want this love. They may feel this love. But again, they have to raise their vibration out of being embarrassed or awkward. <laughs> you see right through them and it's it's awkward for them. You know, you may also feel like this part. You may also pick up energetically or psychically that this person wants love, but they run from the very same. They run from the same thing that they want. Hey, desperate. And we have respectful. So this person, you guys may have mutual respect for each other and what y'all believe, but it causes like this rivalry or this competitive energy between the both of you. This person feels out of control. They feel very needy as well. I don't know. They're trying very hard to protect this distorted energy, yet they want to be your cuddle buddy, yet they want you to be accompanying, accompanying them on their journey, but it's weird, free. So you may uh, kind of project this liberation energy on this person. You kind of free up this person's mind with your way or your approach when it comes to love. But again, this person has to raise their own vibration to become healthy and balanced so they could share this love energy with you. You cannot do all the work and you cannot do all the work for this person. They want this powerful, empowered, liberating energy, but that means that they have to purge out the distorted way of looking at life and that's something that they're afraid to do. So like I said, it doesn't matter how much you bring to the table 
is just exposed to this person that they have a lot of cleaning up to do. And this, it pushes them to hold on to these old, outdated, distorted beliefs. Let's see how they feel about you. Wow, they feel overwhelmed. They feel like they have too much going on. And again, press for time, always busy, always feeling like they have to keep themselves busy so they could feel like they're doing something in life. But it's like, yeah, this person, you, it's like you create this burden. So it's like a dual, it's like a double-edged sword. You in, in one breath, you make this person feel liberated. You break them out of this mental prison. You inspire them. But at the same breath, in the same breath, it feels burdensome because they have to do the inner work. Oh my goodness. Wow. Push and pull. So it's like a tug of war between this person. Let's see how they're feeling about themselves. All right. So it's almost like they want to be unburdened. They want to be free. So right now, this person could just be detached right now or kind of like making space between the both of you because it's like they need to soar. It's almost like I feel like I need to escape from this conflict. And we did see that empowered overall energy. So, you know, this person could be fully aware that you guys are life partners. Be my cuddle buddy for life. I'm seeing one swan here. So this person almost feels like you're their swan. But right now, it's like you're on your own. It could feel like... I read a story a couple months back about this swan, a male swan, uh, was always coming back to this lake or this pond where his female swan was. But she got taken away because I think she hurt she was wounded in her wing or whatever and a, a vet took her away to you know get her all better and he stayed in that lake waiting for her and I took I think it took like three to four months for her to get better for them to bring her back to the lake and the male swan was still there waiting he never moved from that lake and when they were reunited they kind of like, you know how they twist their necks together or put their faces together? Yeah, so it's almost like somebody has to go away or somebody has to go on their own healing journey, their mature, their spiritual matured path for them to embrace love, for them to raise their vibration. All right? Mm -hmm. So this full moon in Virgo is bringing, some, it's bringing this person to... An understanding that they really need to clean up their act and they may have to leave you alone for a little while here all right this may be something that you don't want to hear they have to go go on their own self-love ace of cups they have to go somebody's very sad here somebody has been crying this person could be crying because they're so embarrassed about their actions, the way how they have been living. There's a lot of pain in this card. Some of you, this person could feel unrequited. They could have blocked uh, their love that they feel for you, turn their back, go into this hiding in their back cave, man cave, wh whatever it is. They're hiding because they feel embarrassed of how they dealt with you coming from a distorted, a broken glass. So your person right now could feel the lack of progression. They could be overindulging in a lot of things to keep themselves busy. Hey, <laughs> but make no mistake. There is love. There's a mutual love and respect here. And I feel like this person definitely loves you. For some of you may have a baby girl or there's a baby girl um, that's influence, influencing this person or they think about a lot. They could be thinking about the females in their life or in their family, their girl children, if they have girl children. It's like they rather socialize than to show you some love right now. So if this person is socializing, they're on social media, they're talking to different people, it's because they, that, th those people does not see what you see. You see straight, straight through this person, all right? So family or fertility may be on somebody's mind. Somebody could have the name of joy or love in a different language, but there is love here. You bring this person's joy. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. This King of Cups is deeply saddened. There's a lot of emotional pain going on with your King of Cups energy. Now, King and Queen of Cups talks about I miss you. So this may be a calling call, calling card that no matter what is going on, no matter what you're seeing, this person does miss and love you. But right now they're repressing this love. 
they're choosing to repress it because it throws them off track. And I feel like in many ways, this person breaks down and cry because when they go back to this distorted material jungle and they start to see things for what they, what they are, it's like they're enslaved to keep doing it. And then when they go home, they cry it out. They, they break down at night. So right now, they're hiding from you. They're avoiding you. They could feel your energy. They could feel you calling them, wanting to work this out. But they're choosing to stay away. They're choosing to stay away because they're unhealthy for you. All right? We have judgment. So um, you may have called this person out or right now they're reaping what they sow with the judgment energy. Now they could want reconciliation or they could be seeing a lot of hints, signs and synchronicity about you guys going to reconcile. I'm also feeling like they're going to have to have this uh, regeneration or this rebirth here with the judgment and the free. They're going to have to free themselves from this chain or this box that they have been living in. All right. I'm feeling like a rebirth here could be some scorpionic energy with the judgment. This person feels things extremely deeply, but they repress it. This person could have been emotionally manipulative in the past. Yes, sir. They're dealing with their darkness, the devil. So we have some Capricorn energy. This person is loving you in silence. They could be a very hard worker or they're working really hard, staying busy. They're a very busy person. Family, financial stability, forefront for this person. But they're sad. They're sad. And I feel like at times they look at themselves as demonic or something is wrong with them. I'm, I just keep seeing like, what am I? Am I an angel or, or a demon here? It's like they question themselves a lot. You know? I'm hearing, um, can you... Can you accept that I have demons here or skeletons in my closet or these skeletons in the closet are now being exposed? Whew. And this could be all internalized. Like this could be all internally that this person is starting to see that they're coming from a very dark space, a very toxic, unhealthy energy. The time has come. The time has come for your person to free themselves from a lot of unhealthy things here with the devil. I'm not going to get into details with all of that. Yeah. Could be with cheating, gossiping, just indulging in a lot of unhealthy things here. Could be codependency on substances. They have something that they're ashamed of. So I don't know if they are attracted to the same sex and that's something that makes them feel very embarrassed or ashamed or they tend to have no standards sexually. I'm feeling like if they cheat, that's having a repercussion on them. So with the thing, the thing about cheating, it has a negative effect on the cheater. So at a lot of times we sit there and we mope around and we can't believe somebody's cheating on us, but cheating has a negative effect emotionally on the cheater themselves. All right. It's very common to develop anxiety, guilt, shame, worry, regret, confusion, embarrassment, even self-loathing. Hey, all right. Because... <clears throat> Cheating creates, their action of cheating impacts the love, hey? And the lack of love is why they cheated in the first place. Do you get what I'm saying? So it has nothing to do with you person. If this person cheated on you, it has nothing to do with that. This person just lacks love for themselves. They're very, they're in an unhealthy they're looking at life from a broken lens. They may even have a distorted, twisted way of healthy empowerment. But cheating has an effect on this cheater. It's bringing a lot of shame and embarrassment to them. And when we have judgment, they're now looking at their actions. Could possibly from previous lifetimes here as well. They're looking at how they, didn't, they were not truthful unauthentic, how they threw away a lot of emotional support here or emotional stability. It's a lot of gossip in here. This person indulges on a lot of gossip. So we have the two of wands. The two of wands has been showing up a lot lately and it talks about 
this person needing to take decisive action and go down a path and stick with it. This person has been doing this dancing around this crossroad for a very long time. They want to work with others. Something about teamwork is really big with this person, but they have a lot of unhealthy relationships with that. So going back to the distorted masculine, distorted feminine, this person has a lot of cleaning and purging to do. They always look for greener pastures and they're starting to see how that has huge repercussions here. They're looking at the deeds that they did. Judgment. Oh my gosh. The past is coming back to bite this person. They're very withdrawn and restless here. They want progression, but there's a lack of planning here. Very held back and doubtful that they could they could make a difference here or make a change they want to do things differently but they lack the creativity to even try something different here they can't think outside the box they want a rebirth or reconciliation but what can i do i'm so embarrassed about my unhealthy behaviors very very seductive could be obsession here as well obsession with sex with you Obsession with the way that you love them or the love that you guys share. Six of Pentacles. You're dealing with someone that may not want anything deep here. No strings attached with the Six of Pentacles is what I'm hearing. They may want open relationships here. Because again, they're looking at life from a broken lens. I'm hearing, could you handle me? Can you handle my demons? Can you handle my skeleton in my closet? This person has a lot of destructive behaviors. I feel like they love when people beg them for their attention. They love when people grovel at their seduction. What? And this empowers them. You know, it doesn't always have to mean negative with the Capricorn energy. They could, it could just be that this person has a lot of stupidity, have ass perceptions, and they build on that. They build on that. And it, even if they're walking on their back legs, this person will still try to get through it. And they would look at that as some sort of achievement. This person lacks a lot of self-love and they're in deep emotional pain. Even when things has hurt them um, in the heart space, they choose to suppress it. So some fetishes going on here. They want to be generous with um, their sexual desires with you. We have the high priestess coming out in reverse. That's kind of scary. <laughs> All right. This person may want to work with you, but they have other people that they're working with. Your person, whoever this res resonates with, they're not learning a lesson here. And they distract themselves a lot because they fear this change. Indecision is a decision too, you guys. Somebody needed to hear that. With the King of Cups, moodiness, the inability to let go of things that hurt them emotionally. <clears throat> yeah, very moody, anxious energy. For some of you, I feel like your person got uh, sexually violated here. For some of you, it was rape. Oh, mm -hmm. they could have been paid for money or somebody that paid them to hush their mouth about some sort of sexual violation. I don't know why I'm seeing a group of boys in a room, in an apartment, and something happened there. Something happened there. Anyway, yeah, very emotionally manipulative with the devil. You know, this person could be getting a wake-up call. They could be exploring a lot of their dark uh, habits here, but still very indecisive, sitting on the fence, still looking for something that's better out there. Oh man, this person, ooh. ooh. So with the high priestess in reverse, I don't like this. All right, this, this person could be going to um, tarot readers, dark tarot readers, uh, I feel like this person suppresses not only their emotions, but they block their intuition. They're blocking their, their psychic powers or they're using their psychic powers in a very dark way here. There could be a lot of black magic going on here with the devil and the high priestess in reverse. 
because this person doubts their future. Their future, things are very uncertain for your person. And I feel like because of the embarrassments, the secrets, a lot of sexual tension here. So this person could even be uh, having sex with someone that they're not even attracted to just for the sake of having sex. Again, distorted masculine, distorted feminine energy. <laughs> you guys are totally different. You may be pure and innocent and this person is exactly the opposite. I feel like most of this energy was in their past as well. This could be a lot of secrets that they're not telling you about their past and they're wanting to talk to you. They could actually be feeling a lot of love for you and wanting to free themselves from this energy, but they don't know how to change that. They may want to talk to you about changing their life. This person could even be pushing you away because they're afraid that they're going to jade you. They love you enough to push you away. What? They never wanted anything deep, hey. They was okay with what they were doing, hey. And then you come, you come in with this love. You drown this person in your love. I'm hearing Jamie Foxx. Um, I'm hearing, I did it to myself. Can't nobody help. What song is that? Jamie Foxx. What? I can't, rem I can't remember the name of the song. Overdose. I overdosed, I overdosed, I overdosed on you. Mm -hmm. Jamie Foxx overdosed. So this, it, it feels like this person is drowning in your love, but it's also purifying them. It's giving them a second chance in life, but they don't know what to do. And I feel like they're distracting themselves with things that they know, things that they were taught. This person, there's there was somebody doing something to them or it, it feels like dark magic. Hey, somebody in their friend group is doing some sort of dark magic on them, whether it's, um, it feels like somebody has your person at mercy through sex. Yeah. Five of ones, more conflict. This person is in some sort of drama situation some sort of karmic account with another individual. It's almost like somebody's blackmailing your person about a secret that they have. What the fuck? Very harsh conditions, but your person is surviving it. And I feel like in some twisted way, they see that as very powerful. But some something or someone has a hold on your person with the devil three of cups and the high priestess in reverse. Some sort of secret is keeping your person bound or they're bound by choice to this person that has a secret about them. Uh, this could be a, a ex partner or a karmic person that they do not want their attention from. So like I'm saying, they could be very involved with this person, but they don't want to be, they're being held against their will. Hey, they want to be free. Now, this could be their own darkness, this could be their own toxicity, or this could be actually somebody that's forcing them to be toxic. It's almost like a, a drug addict, and their partner is literally funding their habits for them to stay in a very docile, is what I heard, or a very weak state. But your person has to come into this healthy balance, raising their vibration on their own. They literally have to fight this out. They're attracted or, and all the messages are not going to resonate to one particular person, but it feels like your person is attracted to drama, attracted to gossip, attracted to hate. Everything that's society trends, this person is attracted to it. Mmm, a lot of sexual tension. Your person may want sex. It's like, I don't know if you have like this healing sexual energy with this person, but they're very seductive. They're very turn on. They're in flames about you. They're conflicted about this change. They fear it. They fear judgment. They fear judgment on others. They fear judgment of you. Still, they still want to be generous hey, and give to that world and your and this world. They're blocking their, their uh, psychic abilities. They're, in, they're repressing their intuition. Or something or someone is doing this to your person. 
And it could be, you know what? It could be just them tussling uh, with this five of wands, kind of fighting procrastination, fighting their ego here with the devil as well, fighting a guilty conscience, fighting the cheating energy from the past. Ooh, child, your person is going through it. And it's because, uh, you know what it is? They may want to take this to the next level with you, but because of their past deeds with the judgment, the past is coming back to bite them in their butt. All right, there's a lot of drama. This person may be very excited by a challenge here with you, but how they go about doing it is very stupid. It's very shallow. Mm -hmm. So with the five of wands, if I'm looking at this as guidance, this is an, an opportunity uh, to grow here. This, this, your person should look at this as an opportunity to grow the queen of wands. She has been ruminating on this channel and other readings that I have seen queen of wands. There's a lot of heated, this is an initiation key here. This is the key. All right. So the, the queen of wands is a key. Like I mentioned before, I've been seeing keys and owls, but I feel like the queen of wands energy is the key of initiation here. Uh, the queen of wands energy could be very, very, um, optimistic and outgoing, full of energy, high spirited. All right. So your person may feel like this is an initiation time for them. It's a lot of regret here. All right. You guys may have broken up or you don't trust this person no more. All right. You, they could have had you in for a long time, or this has been going on for a long time, resisting this change. The queen of wands hair is the key It's initiating this, this, uh, raising the vibration with this Silver waterfalls. Eh? The queen of wands brings visions to life. Makes something, makes nothing out of something here. Eh? This could be your person is very much um, attached to distorted sexual beliefs here. Eh? This person could be using their body or they use their body to kind of like get with you and they're kind of ashamed of that. Maybe this person thought that sex would have made everything better or they're using sex to uh, kind of like pull you in. If you guys haven't had sex before, I feel like they're trying to, some of you, this person could have pressured you into sex or try to pressure you into having sex with them. However that may be, maybe they tell you they're so like turned on, they want you and they feel like they need to have you or else they're going to blow. And then it kind of triggers you to want to relieve them. But at what cost? Do not repress your energy or your power, your psychic power, your intuition about the situation. You have to be strong. Anytime the devil shows up, you have to have this inner strength. You have to raise your vibration. Hey, all right. This person may have been lonely, possibly never even believing in love. Maybe they thought love was a gimmick. Now they're starting to see that this life was pure toxicity, pure darkness, but they're still resisting this change, still looking for greener pastures, still looking for distraction. They could be still looking for partners to work with money. They could be trying to get like this audience to pay attention to some sort of um, a job or career that they have, but because they suppress their intuition and their psychic powers, it's creating tension here. And they get very jealous, I feel too, you know? Oh man, a lot of that distorted feminine and masculine energy, but they seem to feel like you're the opposite of them in a good way, but sometimes they feel like it, it, it exposes them too much, you know? They want this love so bad. They feel like they don't have peace without you, but they fear this change. They're resisting a change here to free them, free themselves here. But they could be looking at it as an opportunity to grow or they know this is an opportunity to grow, but they have been waiting too long to do something here. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a chance. It's an opportunity for self-development to creating something out of nothing, out of ruin. Because after this purging, it's going to be like a blank slate here, right? It's going to be like a clear foundation to rebuild oneself here, but it's a lot of drama. Your person is hiding the fact that there's secrets here with the hypersis in reverse. So they could be keeping a secret that they have a lot of drama from exes <laughs> and they may be keeping you away from that. They could be in hiding 
from sexual partners that they're just frustrated or turned off by they're hiding this person is hiding themselves or they could be hiding the sexual tension they feel for you kind of going back and forth with their ego with their procrastination all right so let's get some white noise out here what is this devil clear simple message about the devil A simple message about the devil. There's some sort of spirit, uh, spell work going on here. Spell work is going on here to repress somebody's intuition. If I know, if I knew what I know now, I would choose different. There's major regrets, but they're learning. They're trying to get into this mature energy, but they're resisting this change. They could be kind of like looking a lot of their dark past or their dark thoughts. I'm here. I'm hearing dark thoughts turn into criminal thought. What? I don't know. It's something from Jada Kiss. I can't remember. Yes, I choose you. So this is a lot of choosing. It's a lot of having to choose now. They cannot ignore the truth. They're already seeing the truth. <laughs> For, you know what? This person could have even had an interview with the devil here. This, the devil could have shown themselves to this person. And that could be their shadow aspect of themselves. All right. We both have that devil and godlike energy within self. They could have had a near death experience here. Yes, I choose you though, because guess what? You're my cuddle buddy for life. Two halves make one whole, cherish and hold. We have some clarity about the vows. We have clarity on how proud they are to know you. So even though, you know, you came into this person's life to pull them out of the darkness, but it's, it's like, you cannot go down in this person's hell to rescue them. They have to raise that vibration. They themselves have to love on themselves to be balanced and healthy on their own first. You could only lead the way. You could only be an example. Please don't come down in my box talking about you did this, you did that. If it was out of love, let it be out of love. Learn to forgive yourself for not seeing things for exactly how it was at the time. Forgive yourself for not standing up for yourself. Forgive yourself for not having healthy boundaries at the time. But do not jump down in my box and talk about you did this, you did that, you did this, you did that. And all that person did was take. They were programmed that way. You came into their life to both break that condition, both in you and them. Because tolerating, tolerating disrespect is a, a distorted feminine energy. All right? So it's time to grow up. Don't be coming on my channel bashing nobody because it takes two. And I'm not trying to say that this person is right for what they do. I'm saying that we all have a part to play. We have fake company. So again, gossiping, going around people that are just low vibrational. This person is trying really hard to market to their friends. Like I said, they have a business and they get very frustrated and jealous when these people don't um, support them, don't emotionally support them. And it's like, how could you still, it's like this person wants to build a business, but they're still incorporating. They're still like holding on to people that's blocking their blessings. Hey? And if this is you, you need to wake up and realize that these people, it could be friends, it could be family, they're snakes and they have hidden agendas. Like I said, somebody is working magic, hey, spells. Listen, and that could be just literally speaking negatively about somebody's business or pro or progress hey you ain't shit but i'm gonna like your page i'm gonna follow your business page but you ain't shit your products is shit you dumb you diss you trying to you trying to scam people but i'm gonna follow your page i'm gonna like every pro every product that you advertise but ain't shit those types of people is blocking your blessings I don't care how much history you have. I don't care if this person put the, the lease in their name. It's blocking the blessings. <sighs> My God. Sometimes you have to do things on your own. We have faithful. We have living my life detached. <laughs> Somebody's putting on a persona. So this person knows that you're a true blue. You're very faithful and dedicated once you put your heart and soul into something. They know you're loyal, but right now this person is living detached. I feel like they want to kind of like be that. They want to be a true blue too. They want to be a true blue because like I said, even cheaters, they go through something emotional. Forgiveness. I took things for granted. I'm sorry. Can we move past this healing and let go? Show me your heart and I'll show you mine. So this person wants you to still reciprocate 
you don't have to buy into that. They want you to be more open and accepting. We have holidays and birthdays here. I can't face your words. They can't face your words right now. So I, I looked at the camera and it was four, 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 four when I said that. So you may be, you may be channeling this person's angelic assistance to them. So whatever you speak, it's a channeling from this person's uh, spirit guides and they know that. <laughs> That's why they don't want to face you. Hmm. Beast mode, stocking up, opportunities, business, expansion, game on. This is what they're distracting themselves with. It says, this is hard vows for some of you. We spoke once about lovers who kept finding each other no matter how many times the world came between them. And I think I had to break your heart and you had to break mine. How else could we know the worth of what we're given, my love? So this person is seeing all what had transpired between the both of you as an opportunity to grow. As an opportunity um, to bring visions to life, to bring a new uh, type of vibration or energy. Hey, this may be all their higher selves that's coming through or they're slowly seeing this with judgment. A lot of their uh, ancestors are here too as well. Past loved ones are here too as well. Somebody on the other side is helping this person. It feels like a baby girl. It could feel like a feminine energy. Somebody that loved your person is on the other side trying to channel through you to get to them. And this is why they don't want to hear you right now. This is why your words sting. Because it's exposing their darkness, their skeletons in their closet, secrets that they have not told anyone that they're ashamed of. Something to do with sex as well or magic. So I don't know if your person was doing dark magic for money or there's something around money. They could have even got into like contracts with people that was doing dark magic and that's bleeding out on them and they have no idea because there are secrets between friends and gossiping. The people around your person uh, is talking secretly behind your person's back and this is turning them into some sort of monster. This is why they're hiding to avoid drama with the resolving conflicts. All right, so... Not all the messages are going to resonate, you guys. And if it didn't, that's okay. It may not have been the reading for you today. It's all channel messages. All signs are welcome. I cannot begin to stress that enough. This is why I don't call out too many of the signs. I call out in the major arcanas mostly because all signs are welcome. So your person is learning a, a deep lesson about love. They're having a rebirth here out of love as well. What is this? We have a lot of Mars energy, a lot of action, physical attraction, or a lot of action and sexual drive here going on with this person. All right, Mars energy. That could talk about uh, power of authority as well. This person may be idle, or they let idle, uh, being idle, not doing work, or the internal work get them in trouble here. Mars could talk about hot temper, aggression, obsession, jealousy. All right. This person is a visionary as well. And they want to work towards a goal. But they're incorporating people that are blocking their blessings here. Teaching them not to love themselves in a more genuine, genuine way. Keeping them in a low vibration. And you're the only one that's in this person's life to bring it up. But they don't want to be around you. They don't. It's like they're running away from you because of these secrets. I don't know. They see you as very pure, loyal, and innocent to what's going on. And it could be because they're keeping a lot of secrets from you or keeping you from the truth. Hey, if you only, if you know the truth of me, you wouldn't stay something to that effect. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys did enjoy this message. If you did go on, big up yourself in a comment box below. Thank you guys so much for the generous gratitude donations and tips to the free readings. Hey, and the hourglass. Yeah, so chat to you guys later. Ciao.